So, kind of looking back to last weekend, Louisville, at Louisville's point, came down the court one, uh, up a break, and then they gave the break back, so you're serving, yeah. still on serve, but you're down. Let's kind of talk about those last three games and coming back to win that. Well, we, we really have to uh, lock in and stay focused because, um, like, all the pressure is on one court on us to win the Devils point. And I knew that we... I knew that we got it in the bag because um, um, we've been locked in for a few weeks now. Um, um, I mean, I'll just stick to the game plan. Um, me just focusing on my serve, trying to get that hold so we can um, try to break up the next game. And and we, we did. We saved too much points, which was really important. Uh, so yeah, we we clinched it out the end. It was good, good play. Mondo Amardo was saying that he, you were serving, and he said, "Hey, just get that big serve in, and I'll try to get everything up at the net." How important is it to have someone at the net like Armando that you know is going to handle pretty much anything that gets fired back at him? It's very important. It puts less pressure on me when I'm serving. Like I don't have to make such big, big good serves. I just have to usually make our first serve. And he does, he, he just finishes points up the net, simple as that. And yeah, it's really bad. Put the pressure on the opponents to make the returns very good for Armando not to be able to volley or not be able to, me to come in, uh, make the point myself. Um, you two have been playing together for a while now, yeah. dating back to last year. Just talk about the chemistry a little bit and how important that is in doubles play. Um, it's, it's very important. Um, I know Armando since I was. Um, 13 years old, um, he, when I went to play in Indonesia, where he's from, um, I know him for a while, and when we played, when we started playing doubles here, we just clicked immediately, um, and we've been playing since the time I got here, um, and coaches have um, a lot of confidence in us to put, to put us on play one, nearly every match since we started playing together, and that's very good. Um, and then, go ahead, kind of transition a little bit to singles play. What have you been working on? Obviously, you have the big serve, but you talked about in doubles play, you can kind of rely on Armando a little bit with the serve. But when you're out there by yourself, what are the things that you're working on when you do get the when you start hitting those big serves? Well, um, on like singles, I just focus on still serving, holding, holding a lot of the games and. I've been also working on working the points more on my game, being more patient behind the back, and also mixing a little bit of um, the serve bowling kind of mix because I'm a pretty tall guy. It works to my advantage to serve and bully from time to time. Depends on the player as well. Um, and I've, I've been doing pretty well from, from the back, getting some help from Coach Aaron. Um, on call with me with the game plans before the match and during the match. Because having him on call is, is very good and um, making me locked in and focus a lot on, on, a, on a match. And yeah, that's it, I guess. Last match, lost the first set, come back and win pretty comfortably 11 3, I believe. What was the change for you or was it something that the opponent was doing um, that enabled you to kind of get back into it and take control? It was all mental in that match. Um, in his first set, he was he was more focused um, and he was making some plays. And I I, I lost focus in the last game at 5-4 uh, on my serve when he had a break. Um, so he got 6-4 in the first set. And then I started out the second set just um, super focused, super locked in and got an early break, got double breaks. And um, he just lost his mind. and. Mentally, mentally, I was just there the whole match after that, and yeah. And then this Sunday, uh, last match of a longer home stretch. Um, how important has it been to play at home for the stretch to be able to rack up some wins for the team? Oh yeah, it's super important. Um, playing at home is very confident. For, I feel very confident. The whole team is very confident here. We un we're still undefeated here. Um, we definitely play better indoors, for sure. Um, and when the teams, whatever team that comes here, we we, ne we never get scared of of any team, and we just we just, have, we just have to play our game with the right energy. And I feel like we can we can we can stay undefeated this season.